good morning guys or more afternoon because it's a quarter to two uh, I woke up this morning in so much pain I'm still in so much pain um, I do know that the painkillers kind of reduce some of the nauseousness and some of the headaches but it's been a no being able to work day I have been working from home for a couple of days just because the pain has success going up but today it was like, no, there's no way I'm trying to think when I'm this nauseous. Whenever I move, I get really, really nauseous. Um, so, yeah, that's how it is. So instead, I've been taking it easy. Okay, things just moved. I wonder if the kid is up there. I don't know. That was strange. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm... Uh, I needed to do something that isn't like screen time uh, like sitting in front of the computer kind of con straining your eyes because that will make my migraines worse so instead I started off by watching some Disney I watched Frozen yesterday and then I watched Tangled but I only got through half of Tangled before Christopher got home and we have these TV shows that we kind of want to watch every day uh, on, on the weekdays. It's been, we have our routines. So um, I paused the movie and I never got back to it until uh, today. So I finished Tangle. And then just as Tangle, like the end slates of, of the Tangle movie uh, were going, I got a email saying that Naria... Nariel, I think it's called Nariel Art, went live on Twitch. Uh, she does World of Warcraft fan art, um, and I think it's I don't know. Fan art is so much. I would never buy fan art because I think it's it, it depends also what kind of fan art it is. In her case, she's using basically um, the the World of Warcraft to create creations so yeah but I kind of like the the design and watching when they make art like that um, I learn a lot and therefore I, I kind of look at it and stay with it and she's awesome I think she's Norwegian but she's awesome but she doesn't talk when she does her streams I usually only watch people who talk but her art is so good so I'm just I'm gonna look at it um, and they have good music on and there's kind of an active chat it's it's almost it's really fun it's like having having a friend um, also I have uh, emptied out all the YouTube videos and to have something to do this is going to be a long clip I have been knitting so a friend of mine uh, sent me this pin I think it was a pin or a link or whatever something two three years ago over uh facebook so of course i don't have it have it anywhere and it was a wine cozy which looked like a braided sweater and he like can't can you make one of these for me and then of course i forgot it and i re really really forgot it i haven't had it in my mind for a very long time and then we kind of i've been starting to take my knitting with me when i go to him because then i have something to do with my hands um me and christopher have started to go there at least once a month now and, and hang out and play board games and stuff like that which i think is awesome um, I really like this person. He's, he's very dear to me. He's one one of my closer friends. Even though we hardly speak except when we meet. But that's how I work. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyhow, she he, last time we were there, he kind of... But you promised me. So uh, I've been thinking about it. And now when I have finished all of my knitting project that was on the needles. Which is kind of awesome. I decided to... Uh, start one of uh, uh, cozy and because it is a wine cozy I don't have to have a very expensive yarn or anything so I have a whole bunch of boxes of an acrylic yarn, yarn called Freya so this is the yarn uh, I bought these for they, they're not very expensive they're around one to two dollars each 
so it's not the most expensive it's 100 grams and about 103 meters or something like that 130 meters it's 50 grams and 130 meters sorry about that they're 50 grams uh but they have i, I kind of like them i kind of like them um but i don't do clothing and stuff because it's acrylic and wool is warmer uh, and better somehow i don't know it's nicer to wear wool however as it is a vine cozy and I have loads of these, I am going to make it in the acrylic yarn. Uh, I do have two other acrylic yarn. One is called Caroline, um, which is basically the same. It's just another brand. Yes, it's another brand of yarn, um, but it's a lighter brown. And then I had a beige sort of Freya. So I picked out three three balls of yarn because I didn't know if one would be enough. I think it will be enough because this is how far I have come. Uh, I looked at Ravelry for a pattern. Uh, one thing, I didn't really want to spend money on a pattern because it's such a simple thing to do. So I thought maybe I can just calculate it myself. Um, also, I don't think I found a pattern that worked with my yarn, because um, if I'm going to recalculate things anyhow, so then I feel like, why should I buy a pattern? Like, I bought the Hermione's Everyday Sock pattern, and I haven't done one pair of the Hermione Everyday Sock. I have used the pattern, however, onto some vanilla socks, but that's it. And that was such a simple pattern that, yeah. And just because the patterns are so simple and stuff, I just Googled how to braid or how to do a knitted braid. I found actually a, a for dummies page that made a very simple tutorial on how to do this. So if you want to make a braid, that is easy. Um, and then I knitted up a little patch of uh, one repeat uh, of the pattern and I knitted up the little patch and then I measured it after making I think I just did one pattern repeat um, so on both height and weight but I actually only measured the width of it because that is more important then you can just make as many you need for um, for a wine bottle. Now we actually had a wine bottle at home. We usually don't because I don't drink. Uh, but we do have one because we use it in food. So I measured on that bottle how much, how wide it was around and then how high, high I needed to be. So I still need a couple of repeats for this to actually get to the height. And then I'm gonna give it a color, a little color. So that is that is what I'm doing today. And I'm having a lot of fun having a lot a lot of fun um which is important when i have a bad day like this i need to fill it with things that is fun and doesn't kind of break me uh so knitting some a braided wine cozy might be a good idea i do need to get out i don't want to go out but i do need to go out because i'm running out of painkillers i basically have run out of painkillers so i can't wait until tomorrow uh, also, I have one capsule of coffee left. Then I have run out of coffee. Uh, and the milk is almost running out and I don't have any juice. So basically, our refrigerator is empty and I need to get some food in too so be able to eat. So, I'm going to leave, but I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to see if these painkillers that I took, the last of them, if they will work. If they will work, then I can go. So yeah, now I'm going to continue listening to the awesome soundtrack that they have for this video that she's doing. I'm going to continue reading the chat and just, just have some fun. I'm going to finish my wine cozy. It's time for me to head to bed. So after getting my second dose of painkillers, I actually felt a little bit better and I got a... Um, message from my boss wondering if I'm I was coming uh, to the 
meeting or the the kind of little fun fun and games uh, night with my team and I've been missing everything uh, for the past yeah for the past two and a half years I haven't gone to any Christmas dinners or anything and I really wanted to go to this because I want to be a part of the team so I went in and we played snooker no shuffle shuffle it might be called you you kind of have these size discs that you ran run over like wooden boards that is covered with sand just a little bit of sand and then you have a kind of cool game uh, and we play table tennis like round a round game of te table tennis so several games had a lot of fun however everything's hurting now but that's okay sometimes you want to be sometimes you want to play too so I got home and I would go home like an hour or something like that ago uh, but I wanted to sit down kind of um, I don't know relax a little bit before heading to bed so I finished my little wine cozy I'm gonna show you on a wine bottle tomorrow I actually took a wine bottle out I haven't seen it how it looks on the wine bottle fully completed I took it out to measure and see that it was correctly measured and it was so here is my wine cozy it has this very lovely braided design and then um, it has this kind of I had the word earlier today uh, anyhow it's kind of supposed to look like this so you just bend the edges a little bit and when it's around the bottle it will kind of bend itself better like that. and then you have the knitted shirt all around I did a little bit that I went in I added on a couple more stitches and I added them on the behind of that I could probably have added a bunch more I think I even could have done like four four more or something like that but that also make made the outer edges being uh, a knit on both sides so they kind of got a little bit, it feels a little bit more even then. So yeah, this is my first ever wine cozy. i never done a wine cozy before. Um, so that is fun. Like I said, this has an opening in the bottom because it's just supposed to kind of go on to the bottle and you have it displayed or or how you want you can have it on to the ta on the table or you can have it on display if you have like wines in your bookcase or something like that yeah so this is the first one um i do have the other two browns so i'm thinking about making one in that brown and one in the beige also i have might make someone in more some some of this in more bright colors i'm wondering if i should have buttons on it just for show or if i just could keep it this way that is also something to think about i just got ideas oh i shouldn't be talking to you and, and having ideas in my head but i had an idea that this part where I, I got them um, a little bit on top of each other if I would have started having um, just knits a little bit deeper or maybe a knit and purl just like the um, the edge a little bit deeper into it then I could um, kind of make it as a, a button edge a false button edge that would be cool and then knit into oh that would be cool yeah 
Um, I'm gonna make a new one and I'm gonna try doing that. It's always fun to do um, test knits of, of things um, when you just play because I just played. It's uh, no pattern, no nothing, it's just me playing and I had a lot of fun with it. But yeah, it is time for me to head to bed, so good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.